Hi guys, today we will talk about the gradient container. We can find the gradient container in the toolset on the top right corner. Let's bring it to the working area. Here it is. I make it 60% uh, wide so we can see it better. Now we can make a gradient container from a normal container, if you like. How? Here is the gradient container. The background mode is gradient, so let's do it. The background mode gradient. Let's see the colors. The gradient begin. Copy paste it here, gradient end, color copy, gradient end, paste. OK, this is how it looks now. The border mode is solid. OK, let's make the border solid. The color is this same color okay preview good the corners are round and and the corner radius is nine so corners round border radius uh, nine and here we are we have the same container made from a normal container. Of course, uh, we can do it the other way. Here is a gradient container. Let's say the background invisible. The border is none and the corners are angular. So the gradient container does not give us the tools to make something new compared to what we can do with a with an empty container it just makes it easier for us to do something different if we want now this is the year 2020 and let's do something So here we have two containers and we are in the year 2020. Now today containers and the design trends support, I think, this first container. This second container may be okay, but um, we rarely use gradients. We can use round corners and we can use borders. But I think that the three together, which makes this second container, it's just not trendy. It seems 15-20 uh, years old. So, of course, there may be cases, there may be situations when uh, this can look okay, but in general I would say it's not trendy and I don't recommend its use, or if you use it, uh, I would say use it with extra care. Well, that was simple, that was it for today. I hope you liked this tutorial. If so, I'm happy. Have a beautiful day. God bless you.
Bye-bye.